Okay guys, what's going on? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So I'm getting ready to do your daily tarot card reading. This is gonna be for Wednesday, June 17th. And the deck I'm using is the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition. So I've got a little tarot card spread here that I've been meaning to use for a long time, but um, I just haven't felt like the time is right. And today I kind of got a message from Spirit that said it's time to bring that one out. And it's called the Relationship Check-In, but it really focuses on yourself. And I did have a card leap out of Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition deck, and they're dropping like flies. So you'll have to excuse me very quickly. It's right at my feet, and I think I'm going to have to do some sort of pretzeler movement to go and get this. But hopefully yoga is going to serve me well. And just a moment. This is getting embarrassing. I'm just going to go on a pause. Hold on. Okay, I got the card, and the silver lining is that my hair got floofed up while I was trying to pick it up. So the first card is going to represent here what part of yourself have you been holding back. And it's very interesting to me that the Seven of Wands comes up. Because this is an indication that you may not be defending yourself or uh, you've been taking the high road in certain situations where... You should be facing a challenge. You know, there are certain times where it's better to keep your lips zipped and move along, especially in an employment situation. But there could be people in your life where you're you're letting them get away with talking to you a certain way or you're biting your tongue when it's coming to a response or explaining yourself. So you really should be standing up for yourself a little bit more with the Seven of Wands. Your, in, your, um, your input is really important, you know, and you don't want to just sit there on your hands and wish that you had said something. And I know sometimes like the, the perfect response, you know, that witty comeback comes in a little bit later, you know, three or four days and you're like, oh, I wish I could have thought of that. But, you know, you can say to people, I don't really appreciate your comment or that's not really a true representation of the situation and I don't like the way you said that to me or I don't care for your tone. So, well, I think there's semi just drove, drove by. So anyway, what part of yourself have you been holding back? The defending yourself, the person, that part of you that is is sticking up for you, you know? And sometimes you're the only one is going to be interested enough to do that. So you definitely take the option to say something, stick up for yourself, because I'm seeing here, like you have to train people how to treat you. And if people think they can walk all over you, what do you think is going to happen next time? So interesting card number two is what assumption or social norm is getting in the way of that, right? So let's have a look. Wow, the judgment card. So, so you're probably afraid of being judged, right? Like why? If, if somebody's giving you a hard time um, and you were sort of brought up to mind your P's and Q's or maybe you're just a little bit intimidated by people, why do you care if they judge you? Like seriously, you know, it's okay to stick up for yourself, you guys. And there's you're not going to burn in H-E double hockey sticks just because you said, hey, man, get off my back. Or it's your turn to vacuum. Like, it's, let's say you have a roommate. Like, I'm t constantly trying to convince my dog that it's her turn to vacuum, but she has yet to do so in eight years. But do you know what I mean? Like, why do you wonder or care if other people will judge you for taking a stand for yourself? Taking a stand for yourself with the Seven of Wands is going to be one of the most important things you ever do for yourself because it will teach people where your boundaries are. And if you let people cross your boundaries over and over again, it just keeps getting worse. So what new attitude will propel you bravely forward? I'm going to do a deck cut here, guys. Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, all right, so this is like afraid of missing out on things. So I'm getting a lot of messages here like, and again, what if people unfriend you because you say an unpopular opinion? You have to really, again, not care about that. Your own integrity is the most important thing. The word of your honor 
you know, how you can feel proud of yourself for handling yourself in any situation. So with the Four of Cups, you're sort of afraid of missing out on an invitation or maybe that person's going to take you off their your friends list or whatever. There's more important things to that. And what is valuable to you? Is it your own heart and soul? Or is it the opinion of somebody that, you know, if, if there's somebody that you're having that, hold on, there's a plane. I live by an airport. Um, if, if there's somebody that you feel like you need to stick up for yourself from, again, like, why do you care if they judge you or remove you? You know what I mean? So you're going to have to figure out what value is the most important to you. Is it yourself or other people's opinions of you? And let's see how can I begin to express myself more fully. Which is going to be really important with what I'm seeing here. Change the perspective with the hanged man. So many people, you guys, they, they see themselves th through other people's lenses, which is putting more importance on what other people's feedback of you is like, do you know who you are? Do you understand your value? Do you stand in your own truth? Will you protect yourself from other people that probably, I, I'm not seeing very nice people here. You know, if, if somebody is gonna come up and insult you, you don't have to insult people back, but you, you should really like put your shields up with the seven of wands, right? And don't fear the judgment. Let other people take care of them. Just say, you know, I'd really rather not discuss this right now. You're way over the line. Um, they're missing out on something if they lose you as a friend or a lover. Like, be really, like, I get the word ruthless in protecting your boundaries here. And invest in yourself and get that self-esteem up, you guys. Look at the situation in a different way. Don't look at it as what you've lost, but look at what you are gaining. And that is going to be you, your heart, your soul, being proud of yourself. You know, finding people that are really genuine and have, have something to offer you other than insults. Wow. It could be a wicked day, you guys. So, yeah, have a good one out there and take care. Bye.